Hey, welcome to episode 59 of the Luke and Lewis Show. Yes. Very special edition. If you're listening to the audio, get out of here. Join us on YouTube because we've got a visual masterpiece for you. (laughs) This is our very first motorhome edition of the Luke and Lewis Show. The first of many to come. It's currently, what is it, fucking 10... 10.42 10.42 p.m. at night. We're in a... We're in a we're uh, in Wagga Wagga. Wagga in Wagga. In a caravan park. Big four. Oh, big four. Absolutely killing it. Um, and there's caravans next to us, so the high chance of us getting a noise complaint yep. throughout the podcast, because it's late at night, and turns out people don't get turned here on no. a Sunday night. But you know what? You know what, actually? Nothing happens here. No. Ever. ever. At any time of the day. Because we're in Wagga. We're making shit happen. By and the way, real place if you're overseas. Yeah. Not joking about. We're not being like, oh, whoop, whoop. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's a place called Wagga Wagga. You know what was interesting from tonight's show? We just performed and now we're doing this. Because we'll never miss an episode, guaranteed, right? Luke and Lewis Show, support us on Patreon. We bring the entertainment to you without missing a single every beat. Every Tuesday, every Thursday. That's why we do these apps yep. late at night. Sure, it might be a little looser. Sure. It mightn't even be good, but it <laughs> but it is an episode. <laughs> and that's what matters, right? It is an episode. We have an emergency. We don't have to be doing this, but we are doing it because we, we, we didn't the record game. enough emergency episodes. We only have one. Well, yeah, we got yeah. a little bit lazy and now yeah. here we are. Now we're paying the price. Mm. So, uh, you know, always got to pay the piper. And I forget what I was going to say. That's right. <laughs> so, Wagga Wagga, what was interesting about the show tonight, Luke, is that they actually didn't really like being called Wagga Wagga. No. They said, nah, everyone calls it Wagga. Hey, Wagga. Still a stupid name, so you guys lose. You didn't even make it twice as good by losing half the name. It still sucks. So, yeah. and apparently it's an uh, it's an indigenous word that mm-hmm. means uh, the town of crows or the place of crows. Really? Are you sure it doesn't just mean crow crow? No, well, it doesn't. <laughs> Don't you think if yeah. that's uh, two words, they were surely they would have the same meaning? I'm pretty sure it's just called crow crow. Asked. Which he, honestly, he that's a, a that's a uh, cooler name, don't you yeah. think? We do have a studio audience that has currently gone to bed. Zach, tour manager Zach, who will be doing his activities, has been none yet because we're only two days in to the tour. Um, he's gone to bed. He's feeling a bit sick. Zach, welcome to the show. We've just switched to camera audio so they can hear you. What do you have to say? Uh, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. He's very sick. <laughs> And as you can see, guys, we're having so much fun on this motorhome tour. It's just the best. Everyone's having fun. No one's sick. Everyone has a bed. Yeah. It's great. I've s- <laughs> <laughs> that was a little joke there yeah. because not all of us have a bed. No, because it's a, it's a three-man yeah. motorhome and how many men are there? There is uh, four men. Yeah, here. well, three and a half. It was advertised as six. Bullshit advertising. Six? Yeah. Fuck yeah, because off. it's two double beds. Oh, sure. If there were six people in here, like three of them would be murdered. Yes. For, by necessity, by mm. day two. We're thinking of eating Keelan in Bundaberg. Yeah, but I don't want to get sick. <laughs> 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 it wouldn't be very good meat, would it? <laughs> oh, it would be very good meat. No, no. it wouldn't. It'd be a <laughs> lot. <laughs> when I eat like steak, I like fatty steak. Well, that's what I was saying. It'd be, you, It'd be like a fatty steak. Once you cut off, you know, when you get a meat, you have to cut what off What was that, Zach? Very greasy. <laughs> yeah, you would be. You'd be a greasy when you cook you up. Ooh, it'd be greasy. I'm not as fat as you guys make me out to be. <laughs> no, no. I no. said. I said last night. Not I, physically fat. It's just your whole demeanor and attitude. I said it. Like a fat attitude. <laughs> yeah, your fat attitude. Yeah, I said. I said at the show, <laughs> the Keelan has the personality of a fat cunt, and oh. his body's catching up, <laughs> <laughs> which was very funny in the moment, very and mean. it killed. But but now, Keelan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to apologize. It was a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. But I just wanted to apologize yeah. on record. It was funny because often the best comedy is comes from oh. truth. So. <laughs> it's that real shit. Um, no, but, well, you're not fat. That's the mind-boggling part. Yeah, that's that. the craziest bit. Is, you, is I think that because people don't really see too much of... Keelan. I think Killen's head is just in the frame of just, this just his nose. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to the show, Keelan's nose. You might be ruining the focus with your nose. Is it autofocus? Yeah, can I check? Yeah, you or might want to check. Um, welcome to a brand new segment of the Motorhome <laughs> uh, podcast. This is called Checking the Focus with Keelan. <laughs> Everyone, give it up for Keelan. Here he is. Yep. Uh, surprisingly, not fat. Um, 
<laughs> and also does quite a good job, despite uh, seeming like he does fuck all. Now, I think we're good. We're now, good. Lewis. Uh, and that was the end of Keelan Checks the Focus in the Motorhome edition of the podcast. Give it up for Keelan, everyone. Woo. What a great segment. Lewis. I hope that becomes recurring. <laughs> um, oh, I don't. <laughs> yes? I... Uh, I think we should tell everyone, like obviously people are eager to hear update. There was a lot of chat in the Discord this week, which you can join on Patreon. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of chat. Secret this sound off section. Yes. Uh, and there's also another thing that's secret, but who knows? Uh, it might be a podcast. It might not. But Man, if there was such a thing, and I'm not, not if confirming. There was, if there was. You would shut the fuck up. Well, I'm not saying that there is one, but I'm saying that if there was, mm-hmm. I bet it would be twice a month. And I bet... That sometimes we would, knowing us, we would record an episode that's so good, we go fuck. We should have saved all of that. Yeah, <laughs> that's then, actually happened multiple and then, times. <laughs> <laughs> and then done an average one <laughs> for you guys. But hey, you get what you pay for, don't you? Yeah, which is not a lot. Nah, um, clearly, look like we didn't pay much for this mode home, and it fucking sucks. I think we did. Yeah, I think this is a good mode home. I think you could actually get worse. We didn't cheap out on the mode home. Yeah, we cheaped out by not staying in hotels, mm. but. <laughs> um, here we are at a big four caravan park. Yes, I think people are eager to know in the Discord. Yeah. Obviously, sleeping arrangements were discussed last week. Last night, I took one for the team. Yeah. Slept on the floor for the first night. Thank you for that. You're welcome. And obviously, I owed the show one. I'm not saying that's my favour. I'm not saying that's it. But no, I'm that's saying, definitely not it because it's a rotating agreement. In fact, that's just standard. No, but I did. I feel like I, I did an honourable thing when really it would have been easy to make Keelan sleep on the floor just out of hierarchy ranking Oi, system. Keelan, it's the Luke and Lewis tour. It is. And he's not a, any and that's of those a, two guys. I'm happy that you brought that up because I think that you and I have fucked up by acting as good employees and, and you players. know, show, good good team players. Keelan, do you think... Employers. Employers. <laughs> yeah. Really? It's fucked my brain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Keelan, yeah. honestly, right... Would you have slept on the floor for the whole time? Absolutely if, not. No, you Absolutely wouldn't have done not. that? Absolutely really? Absolutely not. If I we have, said... I would have said, I won't do the rest of the shows. Really? Yeah. If you'd you made have, every single night? Yeah. 21 nights? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Fuck. Yeah, that's annoying. He knows his, he knows his, his worth. This <laughs> sucks. Where did yeah. he get that from? Yeah, and he knows that we also can't afford him to fly him home on like regional Rex <laughs> Airlines from like Rockhampton. Yeah. Which is annoying. And um, by the way, if you want to check us out on the tour, uh, these are the dates. But while I get them up, Lewis will uh, entertain them. Entertain them Absolutely the not. Um, man, <laughs> I... I- I've got them up. Oh, you got them up? Yep. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a bit of entertainment from me. That so, was a few seconds of just like fucking pure entertainment. You're welcome. I've been Lewis Spears. Have a great night. Luke Kidgel, welcome to the stage. It's time for the date. In two days' time, <laughs> we are fun. heading this week is Bathurst, then Central Coast, Port Macquarie, and then to Toowoomba. <laughs> Then yeah. we go to Bundaberg, Woo. Rockhampton, Mackay, Townsville, then Cairns, and then wow. we uh, sleep. Ladies again. and gentlemen, give it up for Luke Hidgel. He's the man with the dates, the man with the plan, and he's got a face. That runs with dates. Um, <laughs> guys. very tired. Oh, yeah. We're all fucked. Every point of the night it gets to this. Yeah. Because, like, last night, <laughs> this... Last night was so <laughs> fucked that we were up at 1.30 a.m. We shouldn't have been, right? We all knew we, we had, had to, to wake, wake up, up early. early. We didn't have to sleep at 1.30 a.m., but for some reason, Keelan thought it would be so funny to keep offering everyone <laughs> chips. Hey, Keelan would you like some chips? was about to go to bed and was like, I'm just going to open a fresh packet of chips because... Why again, would you do that? Because I you was hungry. <laughs> Yeah, we is. had food, yeah. bread, yeah. peanut butter. But I packed my own bag of chips. Dude, <laughs> this, this is what I mean. It's, it's, <laughs> it's chubby energy. Yeah, mm. big chub energy. <laughs> big gut energy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was like the thing that I guess we laughed at for half an hour for no reason last night. <laughs> oh, and before that... Uh, Guys, you'll never guess who it, I saw at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not getting into that. No. <laughs> That's another one that will just go not on record. <laughs> but before the chip situation, yeah. the toilet flooded. <laughs> oh, yeah. The everywhere. fucking 
the bar, the first thing that, that happened, happened, like as soon as we were all, all right, ready for sleep, we arranged all the beds, laid Luke's mattress down, got him as comfortable as, as can be. <laughs> Which, by the way, is right next to the toilet. Yep. That's and the best place to sleep. Is, is with your head next to the shitter. <laughs> Uh, and then immediately we're like, all right, everyone ready to bed? Yep, all right, ready for bed. Keelan's got his chips. And then <laughs> Zach opens the bathroom and goes, oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Piss water just starts flooding onto the floor, wow. covers Luke's mattress, which isn't a mattress. You can see it on camera here. It's basically a piece of fucking paper. Yeah. That's how thin it is. I'm sleeping on like an A4 sheet. Um, and then... Uh, we had to mop. We had to get mops from the caravan park. Yeah. Zach just grown. No, I'm uh, laughing at the framing of this. Uh, <laughs> you can see all the blankets. It's very funny. Yeah, yeah. this is fucked. Yeah. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. If you listen to the audio version, you're missing out. God, I wish you were more successful. Oh, me too. Mm. Wouldn't that be good? <sighs> <laughs> so anyway, well, it was midnight and. Yeah. Keelan and I are standing there mopping up urine, <laughs> and Lewis, this is how ready Lewis for bed we were. Volunteered so so courageously <laughs> and massive help. Thank you for doing this, man. Yeah, he, uh, generously Just, volunteered yeah. as chief vlogger, <laughs> and, uh, and instead of helping, instead of helping clean yeah. up the toilet water, he yeah. just filmed everything and laughed. Oh, and that's an important job. And sound off in the comment section below. A big thank you to me because without that, you would miss me laughing at Luke in my underwear in bed while he mops up piss and goes, Oh, fuck, my mattress is pissy. <laughs> you guys would have missed that if it wasn't for me. So you're welcome. Thank God. We didn't, it wasn't actually oh. pissy, by the way. We hadn't pissed in the uh, toilet. We, we, we do need to discuss the toilet rolls just because obviously this is the first van episode. Yeah. And I just want to lay down a few ground rules. We're only about 48 hours in. Uh-huh. And thank God no one's committed this in yet. But I would officially like to uh, install... Oh, is that the right word? Yeah. Install in state, rule? In, in state, state a rule. what you're thinking of. Yeah. Boys, mm-hmm. it's a no poo policy. Oh, I absolutely. think we can all agree. Definitely. No poo policy. Kill and I would concerned. say... Is everything Okay. Mm-hmm. I would okay. say desperate wheeze. Yeah, des- you know what? No one's weed yet at all. I think because the toilet flooding oh. really scared everyone because yeah. the blessing was no, no one, one had weed yet. I haven't even gone in there. You know why what? no one's gone in there? It's full of suitcases. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the because we... this is not a six-man caravan. We are literally using the shower as a storage cupboard yeah. because we're literally living in our own filth at yes. the moment. Yes, uh, but are. I would say we've been pretty clean so far. Uh-huh. We, we, the rule is you gotta, if you use a dish, you wash it immediately after. You don't leave it in the sink. No. Nope. dog if you leave it in the sink. Mm-hmm. Roof. <laughs> that's what a dog does. Leaves it in the sink. Yeah, so if, if we leave a dish in the sink, does <laughs> does everyone else have full permission to bark? No, I would say that you get treated like a dog. So if you leave your dish in the sink, everyone goes, get out of it. Yeah. Stop it. Get out of <laughs> it. Get out. Stop. Yeah. That's a good bit. And then the person who left the bowl in the sink has to go, Roof. <laughs> get out of it. Roof. Yeah. Killing's like very that. tired. <laughs> We're so fucked. Hey, you know what I realized? Remember a very, was it, might even have been last episode of the show. Remember when I was complaining about a fucking stupid thing I did because I say yes to everything? And I was saying how horrible it was for me to pause our last tour and then fly to another city to do something oh, that I agreed to. Podcast tour. Yeah. So remember when I did it on the podcast tour, how I how I stopped halfway through and I flew to another city because I agreed to do something yeah, for a little bit of money. You know why? Why? Because you don't know how a calendar works and yeah. you don't have basic organizational skills. No, no, and no. Sometimes you don't even know what day it is. Bro, I'm like the rock, hardest worker in the room. No, that's idiot. right. I'm the chief vlogger and I and I. Dude, look, I'm a businessman. Yeah. I hustle. Yeah. Dude, I just c- keep seeing my ref- Keelan's reflection in the window and I think someone's watching the podcast because it's really distorted and it looks like he's got a really long head. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here, guys, is I'm the hardest worker in the room and the last time I flew home from a tour, it was the worst thing ever. I made fuck all money. I did such a shitty job that they cancelled the follow-up work and I, <laughs> and I vowed I will never 
ever do that again. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce that I'm waking up at 4 a.m. this morning to go to Wagga Wagga Airport on a regional express propeller plane flight straight back to Melbourne to do some shit I fucking agreed to that I don't want to do now. But I'm going to do it. Gone back on my word. The dumbest friend of mine. Oh, absolutely. And you know what the best thing about this is, guys? You got to drop me off at the airport because there's no taxis. No, get an Uber there. Yeah, I'm going to try and get an Uber, but I'm, I'm uh, not. not hopeful at getting one at 5 a.m. in fucking Wagga Wagga. Well, man, you could you could have driven yourself to the airport if you're an adult, but... Uh, no, I only... couldn't because even... Are you, can you drop me off at the airport with your car? Where is it? No, that's what I mean. You could have just driven this. We could have stayed in bed and just fucking driven it to the airport and yeah. just left us in the waiting zone. <laughs> Poor Zach's going to have to wake up. Hey, yeah. mate. I'm not. I'm not. Come on, bro. I think I can get an. I think I can get an Uber. The woman seemed fairly confident about it, but I'm freaking out. I'm surprised about it. to have Uber here. Yeah, me too. I'm very. Oh, let's check if there's an. If if I can get an Uber like now, on a Sunday night at 11 p.m. Surely I can get one Monday morning. Mm. So uh, Lewis is going to be meeting us back in Bathurst. We have two days off by mm-hmm. ourselves, uh, which will be so good. Because we all get a bed each. Yeah. We're all thrilled about it. You're probably like, guys, you're going to miss me. It's like, oh. oh Zach, Zach just burped. We'll have to put it on the... Uh, the uh, oh, I can get an Uber now. I, I'm feeling pretty hopeful about this. At 4 a.m., will you get one, though? I don't know. We'll see. You know what's funny? I'm going on... I'm freaking out about this propeller plane You hate flight. regular planes. I don't mind flying, but I don't. I don't oh, like the idea. There's turbulence. Tur- uh, turbulence. I've like I forced myself to get through it, but I feel like a I'm tiny surprised. propeller when one. Sometimes there's turbulence. Yeah. Lewis gets some turbulence in yeah, his I pants. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do I one? No. Okay. Fair enough. How about this one? If when there's turbulence, that one stunk, and I get. I don't know. <laughs> no, don't give him that, and not me. Well, My let me more let me have a turn, right? Okay. When there's turbulence and I get some turbulence, I'm going to need some deturgulence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 11 p.m. We just did the show and uh, now this is what you get. Yeah. You know? And we appreciate everyone listening. And uh, do we have any more updates? So we, oh, we went to Shepparton, mm-hmm. uh, obviously, yesterday or for us, but, you know, a few days ago for you guys. Yep. And uh, we went and visited a KFC bucket. In a paddock, a bit yeah. of a low point for me as a human. We just was. It was on more the side of a of religious road. pilgrimage for Keelan. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, he was it, like, "Oh, sacred grounds must." <laughs> pray. It's like the Mecca for the Muslims. Like you've got to travel there, <laughs> <laughs> like at least once in your life. Yeah, yeah. and a few people were uh, theorizing uh, this week, in, uh, today, sorry, in the Discord. Uh, do you reckon you've eaten enough chicken in your lifetime to fill that bucket? <laughs> Absolutely, Ooh. definitely would have done that in a week. Yeah, with all. The- all my popcorn chicken go buckets over yeah. a lifetime. Yeah, mm. for sure. Yeah. yeah. And what it was, was... Because it wasn't that big. No, it was really small. Hey. You know, you're saying it was big just... KFC bucket. On in, Online, it says huge KFC bucket. Mm. Not that big, no, bro. It's just one of the old ones that used to spin on top of the buildings back in the day. Yeah. And then you said that the guy owned a KFC and then just took the bucket. Mm-hmm. And now it's like legitimately a tourist attraction. It's in just Shepparton. in the middle of like his plot of land. But what's interesting in, is Australia's it's so been there fucked. for ages. People from overseas probably don't understand. Like they go, oh, like you know, oh, in France we have the Eiffel Tower, and like they have big tourist attractions, yeah. well known in Australia. Majority of our tourist attractions are like the big banana, mm. the big pineapple, and like big KFC bucket. We drove out of the way to like just to see it. Zach actually brought up on, because he's doing Zach activities for our tour, which, by the way, we haven't done any of. Mm. Uh, but he brought up that there's a big Ayers Rock. And Luke goes, wait, you mean <laughs> Ayers, Ayers rock, rock, like the biggest rock in the world? Mm. That's what it's famous for. A.K.A. Uluru. Very culturally mm. significant to the Aboriginal people. And Zach goes, nah, like a plastic one. <laughs> yeah, And, then and he it's goes, much smaller. Yeah, but then he goes, oh, I think it's been burnt down. I don't know who did it. Yeah, I wonder well, who did it. I wonder it. who was offended by someone ripping off an actual rock and trying to prop out of, prop it out of a yeah, some, Aboriginal cultural. Definitely, some site. white dude is like, "Well, I'm not changing it to 
fucking big Uluru. It's big as rock. It's my fucking plastic <laughs> rock. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the vibe of Australia. And maybe no one did burn it down. Maybe they just took the big as rock and then flipped it upside down. And now it's just like a big bathtub. I've been to, th- <laughs> I've been to three of them. You like that one? Uh, I think turbulence was better. Oh. Yeah. Um. I think I've actually been to three. I'm checking them off. I've been to the big pineapple before. Have you know, you if you it? filled that upside down airs right with detergents, you could do your washing in it. Have you ever been to the big koala? <laughs> <laughs> Is that in uh, near Ad- on the way to Adelaide? Yeah. No. I have. Oh, cool. Man. Cool. <laughs> 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 I mean, t- one time I drove past. I think it's. I drove past it. There's a big crayfish in between Wollongong and Sydney. I think. Is it big? Nah, I was pretty <laughs> underwhelmed. It's yeah. bigger than a regular crayfish. I was thinking of starting up a, an attraction that just, it's just localized around whatever space I'm occupying. It's just called the big human. The big Lou. Yeah. yeah no, because right. I'm the normal size uh, Lou. Yeah. It's just the big human. Everyone goes, oh yeah, that's pretty big. I mean, it's yeah. not like huge, but it's pretty big. Yeah. You know what I'm sick of people saying to you after shows? And, I, and you, I, I mean, I, I, if I'm sick of it, you must be just <laughs> so over it. What, like, oh, you were so much better than Luke. No, that, I don't know why Luke even showed no, up. No, it's actually never happened. <laughs> um, what I am sick of is yeah. people going, oh, you're so tall. Yeah, that's and annoying. it's just like... You're, if you're a fan of me, you know. It's like saying to like me, like, oh, you've got brown hair. Mm. Oh, dude, you have the such brown hair. <laughs> it's like, it's not even an interesting thing about you. You know what's funny is I, I do... Or maybe it is. I guess it is. It, I think it, maybe I just hang out with you all the time. So I'm just like I think it is pretty you don't meet people like I never meet people that are bigger than me. When I see someone taller than me or even my height I get I'm it shocked. When tall guys do it cuz they go like, "Oh, I thought I was tall, but you're yeah. taller." It's when like regular people go, "Oh, bro, <laughs> you're pretty tall." Like you're you're going to be like, "What the fuck?" Especially oh cuz I in my set every night I do some jokes about being tall and people yeah. going, "Oh, wow, well, you're tall." And then everyone then after goes, "Oh, wow, well, you're tall." Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now you're you're the guy in the joke. I was the tallest person I knew until I met you. Really? And now I feel like a child when I stand next to you. Mm. You're not the tallest. You're not that tall. You're like six four, aren't you? Yeah. That's pretty tall. It's yeah, it's pretty tall. Well above average. Yeah. But there's how many more? Oh well, yeah, but how many people in your life are that's true. taller than me? That uh, well, other than Lewis. That's true. <laughs> your si- tall. you being six four, you're so lucky, man. If you were like five nine. You'd be like a fat cunt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my height helps. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's so many flies in this van. This is fucked. It's just like... There weren't flies for 24 hours, and then everyone forgot to, that there are flies. Well, we only found out that we had a fly screen door uh, this morning, so yeah. we were just left the door open for 24 hours, so heaps of flies were like, let's hang out here. Do you reckon they're like going to be homesick now? These are shepherd and flies. I always think about that. <laughs> I always think about that. Yeah, like we... like Flies just relocate all the time accidentally, and they yeah. must be like, oh, fuck, I've lost my whole family. Yeah, like my wife and it's my pretty, kids. Yeah. You know what I don't get, right? Why is it that when we're driving, right, we, if, like, Zach was going way over the speed limit for a very long time, 110 kilometers, you're allowed to do that. Really? In an RV? Yes. <laughs> you know nothing about road rules. No. Do you know why? <laughs> I'm on my L's and I'm 26. Hang on. Have you ever driven on a freeway? Nah. <laughs> 110 you... is the biggest legal limit, except for in between... The only a 130 I know is in between uh, Uluru and Northern I'm Territory. Fair, no, I, no, Luke, I'm fairly certain that Zach told me that he was doing uh, like 110 in 80 zones. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know you can go 110. Oh, I yeah. don't think you can go on 110 yeah, right. in an 80. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. continue. Uh, what I don't get is, right, a fly flying in the middle of the motorhome, and if we're going 110... Why isn't the fly all the way at the back of the van Smi- smushed? Serious? Yeah. That's like year nine science level. Yeah. So you think if, if I jumped up, I'd end up at the back of the van? I'd say I would. Isn't it called velocity? Yeah. No, I get velocity, right? If you jump up, you're traveling oh, the same. Oh, this is but dumb science. This is dumb. Welcome to dumb science, <laughs> Damn it, guys. We've opened it up again. <laughs> um, could we? We don't have the buttons, but we'll just edit that in, right? Mm, Welcome to dumb science. I'll airdrop it to you, right? <laughs> and if I've remembered to do that, you'll hear. You're hearing my great music, right? Science. Okay. So 
I understand the velocity thing. If you jump up, right, you're traveling the same mm. speed as the motorhome, so you go forwards. But if you're just hovering in the air, don't you lose velocity? They're moving, though. They're or not, is the air in the still. motorhome moving with us? Yeah. Uh, good point. So maybe if you open the window, they'd go all the way to the back. Yeah. So this was never fully covered in Specky McGee. So I'm not really sure why you're directing the question. Really, they didn't have a section on flies inside no. motorhomes while you're going 110 in an 80 zone. Gary Lyon and Phyllis Arena actually focused more on the uh, mm. the childhood of an up and coming AFL star, oh. less about fly velocity. Oh, I have an answer. Which was odd. Oh, you've got an answer. Okay. All right. <coughs> Sorry, dumb science is over now because we've we've googled it. Uh, <laughs> additional energy. Don't is call it that. Keelan's about to talk. Is only needed for changes in motion. The same is true for a fly in a car. The fly does not have to expend expend. Bend any. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Guys, I read yeah. like yeah. grade now five. Now we're at retard reading. Expend <laughs> any additional energy <laughs> to keep moving with the car. Here you go. Because the car, the air in the car, and the fly are connected. Yeah, are connected. Can you read it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I to, read. By the way, guys, just an announcement. 19 days of the tour to go. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So, ooh, ooh, Kelly can't even read. Um, By sorry. Then, you're just going to be dribbling on the floor. I mm. don't want to bore the listeners here. Everyone knows I'll smash reading this. Luke, would you like to have a turn seeing as you found it so funny <laughs> that Keelan couldn't read? Just the top bit? Yeah. The whole bit. Additional energy is only needed for changes in motion. The oh, same is true good. for a fly in a car. The mm-hmm. fly does not have to expend any additional energy mm-hmm. to keep moving with the car. Because of the car, well, the air, oh, well, it's not written properly, is you it? Got <laughs> to okay. keep moving with the car, because the car, the air in the car, and the fly are one connected system that See, is what those are Those are commas. Speed. Sometimes they happen when you list a few things. There's a comma, and you list them like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's written properly. Yeah. Your brain's just... Maybe I yeah. should do a series it's, where... It's just odd that you're commenting on um, yeah. cars a lot. No, I'm, there's a sentence. Yeah, this is... It's just, yeah. Just <coughs> I was going to say, maybe I should do a series where I learn to read out loud. Maybe. You can put that on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> that's No, that's what I mean. Subscribe to Keelan's Mealand. Yeah, so essentially, <laughs> Keelan was right. The car, the fly, and the, the air, air are the all car. moving at once. So the air is actually moving yeah. whatever speed the car so is. So if you opened a window, then the then, it then would ruin everything. That's why <laughs> shit flies out of planes and stuff. Yeah, it depressurizes. No, I think that's very different, actually. Yeah. That's oh, well, fly, if you threw a fly out the car window, it would go <laughs> back. Yeah. Zoom. <laughs> I just wanted to do this. Because we're going so fast. Yeah. 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 Well, that was dumb science, guys. We solved the mystery. Right. Um, I did want to bring out one thing. Mm-hmm. Thought it was a little bit of a stitch up during the week. How long have we been going for? 30 minutes. Oh. Uh, by the way, I fully uh, take responsibility on for this the show. quality or lack thereof of this episode. No, I, I would take no responsibility for that. Yeah, that's, 50%. It, that's, your, that's I'll, your fault, everyone listening? No, I'll take 50% of the responsibility. Okay, and the rest is the listeners, obviously. No. no. Well, the rest is Keelan. Well, Sorry, I missed what you guys were saying. <laughs> The rest yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, last week, yep. uh, oh no, would have been a few weeks ago now, mm-hmm. uh, the, obviously, again, it was a small brain issue and I, and I take full <laughs> yeah. responsibility. Yeah. I hadn't heard of the, about the coronavirus right. when yep. it had only been in the news for about four days, I reckon. Let's mm. be fair. It had been in the news for about three to four days at the time. No, I think like, it was- Three weeks. I think it was about three weeks. But, but not like major news how everyone's talking about it now. It, it was, was major news yeah. immediately. It was no, like, because not like it wasn't on YouTube. It yeah, wasn't on um, New Year's Eve is when it, the news story broke. So but it, it was wasn't about like three weeks. I was saying that, but it wasn't on the front page of the paper and stuff in Tool about two weeks ago. Mm. It wasn't because because we still get like a paper and stuff. Like, because my dad still gets it. I see yeah. it, like, and I'm like, right. oh, it wasn't like, it was well So you're news. saying if it's not on the front page of the Herald <laughs> no, Sun, it not going to read I'm it. saying it wasn't the biggest news yeah, story yeah, that yeah. everyone was talking about oh, at the time, when it first broke. Debatable. And then it kept on getting worse and worse. No, everyone was talking about the fires at the time, so it was oh, definitely yeah. that way. Yeah. Only because of the fires. Right. Anyway, yeah. I fully take responsibility. It was very dumb. Mm-hmm. 
what was unfair, bit of yeah. a stitch up, yeah. was about three days ago, yeah. you posted the video <laughs> on your Instagram yeah. implying that like <laughs> it happened yesterday, going, oh, I've got the dumbest friend in the world. It happened like two or three weeks ago now. Yeah. You're like, Luke Kidger doesn't know what the coronavirus is. Making me look hella stupid. Because yeah, obviously, I, 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 I found out about what it was organically yeah. about six hours after we recorded the episode. Because mm-hmm. it was number one on YouTube trending that night. And yeah. I just hadn't been on YouTube that yeah. day. Now, yeah. a few people commenting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like he doesn't watch TV. That's exactly what it is. Oh, yeah. I don't Who watch TV. watches TV? I didn't have an antenna connected to my TV since I moved into the new house. And I just got one the other day because I realized I wanted to watch the tennis final. Yeah, you know, I we have we have a TV and then we got like the Apple TV thing so you can cast from laptop yeah. or phone to the thing. Or you can get like a Chrome I don't even do one. that. I prefer to just sit in bed and watch Netflix on my Anything laptop else. than sit, well, on, yeah, the sit on the couch. The only thing I want it for is live sport. It. That's the only thing that yeah. live TV still has. And And if they lost that, it's over. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I I, I heard a lose it because people can just stream it. Mm. As soon as streaming becomes more popular, I guess. You heard that KO shit's going. That streaming service has all the sport. Oh uh, yeah, that and there's that fight. I mean, one the as well. the UFC fight has moved com? to uh, d- has moved d- to d- streaming, d- isn't it? Oh, days in, but days in. Australia's the zone, but Australia has fight dot com. Right. Yeah, it's all moving to streaming. Um, but anyway, the point is a yeah. bit of a stitch up. Uh, and you made me look a lot dumber. Than, I mean, I am stupid. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I was fucking stupid. That was one of the dumb. I mean, not the dumbest thing I've done here, but maybe top four. And really? What do you think the dumbest thing you've done this year? I'm definitely saying my ex-girlfriend's name on this podcast. Yeah, that was that was a big girlfriend. one. Yeah. Yep. Um, that was number one. Someone brought that up at the show tonight. Oh, uh, really? They go, how's Emily? And I went, oh, I'm, we're, we're not actually dating anymore. And then she goes, I know. And I went, oh. You were bullying because, me yeah. because awesome. That's Great. good. I love that when people uh, are not very well versed in comedy, but they <laughs> reference a show yeah. and it's just like, oh, yes, I am an idiot. And that's yeah. what you're referring to. Mm. And I have no comeback. I can't be like shit joke. Nah. Because they, they're correct. Yeah. Mm. Got it's it. It's just annoying. And can I say, Luke, um, I hear your feedback mm. and I would like to say thank you. Why? Because obviously I nailed that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a compliment. It was very annoying. People, oh, and this has actually happened. Yeah. So you uploaded that clip uh, and then... It went really well. It went really well, which is annoying yeah. because uh, uh, people at my dad's work yeah. must follow you. And oh, in good. the staff room... Oh, came yeah, because he's a him. teacher. Yeah, came up to him. That's embarrassing and went, for him. They go, Luke's not that dumb, is he? <laughs> And then they they showed him the clip, and he went. He honestly, he goes to me. He's like, I couldn't. He goes, I don't. Here's the thing. He goes, I thought you were really good at acting, or maybe you were that stupid. And he goes, I realize you're that stupid. He goes, because I don't know. He goes, I know you're not good at acting. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a real rough one yeah. for Dad, the teacher. Mm. When well, all he's of not his... his fault anymore. I don't live with him, so he's just like, "Well, you're an idiot by yourself now." Yeah, it'd just be, yeah. it'd just be like he he'd probably be walking around in his head, going, "Man, I'm proud of my son. He's killing it in comedy. Mm. All of everyone else sees that my son's doing well, and then that one pops up, and everyone goes, "Explain this, dickhead. <laughs> what have you done? Still oh. proud? <laughs> Still got a good son? Yeah, well, fuck." So that was uh, that was the the aftermath of that one. So That's appreciate good. that, man. No worries, Making dude. Me look like I was literally three weeks later than I already was. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I nailed that. Thing. Congratulations to me. Mm. Um, I think it's time, right? Now that we've we've we covered flies. Yep. Uh, we covered Instagram posts. Mm-hmm. Now we're sitting in a nice low point. Where we've got nothing left. Hang on. I've oh, got something. No, hang on. Oh, I'm happy to... Yeah. While we're talking You've got about nothing? low points, no, kill him wants to say yeah. something. So yeah. I'm happy to keep diving mm-hmm. into this low point. Uh, so, I, I do have a, a thing to pick with you. Sorry, one second. A bit. I just want to put on my scuba diving gear, because obviously we're going below sea level. We're about to dive here, content-wise. Yeah. So, continue. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so, the Keelan's Meelan's Part 3 clip went up. On the highlights channel mm-hmm. the other day, oh, just, I'm just oh, I'm dying because I'm so deep under yeah. pressure that I'm yep. being crushed. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> Revan posted that clip with a couple spelling mistakes and a incorrect title. Yep. 
So I've. Oh, you said our new our new employee Ruben, who handles the clips channel, right? Keelan doesn't touch the clips channel of the Luke and Lewis, which by the way you should check out. Lots of clips going up yeah. pretty much daily now, thanks to Ruben, thanks to Patreon. Get on there, mm. right? So Ruben's been posting uh, yeah. a lot of uh, clips. Our colorblind editor. And then so he posted the one of me with the incorrect title. Mm. And then I sent in the group chat with the four of us. I said, hey, at Lewis, because I knew you were at the warehouse, can you please change it? Yeah. You've then sent back a confirmation. Yep, changed. And then I looked at the title and you spelt my name incorrectly. Um, We've been now, working together for almost two years. Mm-hmm. Now We text pretty, pretty much every day. I see your name every day because we text. Oh, yeah, it's in sorry. my phone correctly. Whoop. We've just re-emerged out of the story <laughs> that was the content. Yeah. I enjoy this. Now, yeah. explain Lewis, yourself. Is that a mistake? Yeah. Well, uh, Keelan, no, ac- Luke. Actually, can I put in my prediction? Yeah. Now, I know that you are pretty misinformed with, again, you, you read the news, you go on Twitter, mm-hmm. you stay up to date with what's happening in China, and read I respect books. that. Read books. But Zach and I were discussing today, yeah. and it's common knowledge amongst the team. Yeah. Zach, and I, I think the direct quote was, I don't know how he survives... <laughs> yes. That was it. And yeah. now, and now that, why? What did I do that prompted that? Uh, you asked where reception was, and we just walked from there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just came into the caravan park, and then it was goes, "Where's reception?" And there's just little, little things. Yeah. It's like uh, when we're packing the suitcases mm-hmm. tonight. Uh, there was a gap about this big, and Lewis goes, "Will my suitcase fit in there?" <laughs> and then Zach goes, "I don't know. Maybe try it." And Lewis goes, "Oh yeah." And then Tristan goes, Zach, it does not fit in there. <laughs> and Zach goes, right. Well, maybe we might have to move something. And Lewis goes, oh, yeah, good idea. No, God before damn. that, Zach told me to put it in. Right? So Zach's an idiot. Anyway. And I'm stupid for following what he thinks. Anyway. There's I don't know how he survives. But my point was that uh, there, yeah. are, there are some moments where you're very you're great, at, you're great at comedy. Yeah. And and. Being self-involved. Yes, yes. Tick, <laughs> Which tick. means that yeah. I honestly don't think there was any point in the relationship between you and Keelan mm-hmm. where you actually went, I wonder how his name spelt. Now, boys, I totally understand the allegations placed yeah. here against me and I hear your feedback. <laughs> now, I have a very good reason for this. So, obviously, originally, what, what was it originally called? It was called like... Keelan, Keelan YouTube, YouTube went up as yeah. yeah, it was went up as the file name, yeah. and yeah. Ruben did that, right? Yeah. Bloody Ruben! So, what happened was, uh, Ruben exported as Keelan YouTube. Now he doesn't know Keelan too well uh, because they've only been working together for a few uh, days now. He spelled Keelan's name wrong. Now you didn't correct. <laughs> I thought it would be very funny to correct the YouTube part, change it to Keelan's Meelans but then leave the incorrect spelling of Keelan's name. And then when it all fell on me, on the podcast, my plan was to blame Ruben, our colorblind editor, uh, for spelling Keelan's name wrong. Uh, Because really, I just fixed what he originally intended to spell. And I thought it'd be very funny to spell Keelan's, not fix the spelling error that Ruben, our colorblind editor, made. Now... This isn't very good. Was that a good comedic decision? <laughs> well, I'd already put on my scuba diving gear, so I thought I might as well. Yeah, right. Now, what? And I'll give dive. you an example of what was a good comedic decision. Mm-hmm. Just before we started the podcast, Keelan was trying to squeeze <laughs> through between the camera and the light. Oh, yeah. man. Hang on. Up Can I just get, on, get my hiking gear yeah. on? We're about to go <laughs> fucking... This is great. Actually, scratch that. I'm getting in my space suit. We're yeah. going to the moon. This is great content. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, this and, is and an we will need oxygen. Yeah, this is an example of good comedic timing yeah. and a good uh, ear and eye for comedy. And ass. And uh, <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was lunging uh, across. So very cramped here. Very cramped. He was between the, the obviously the toilet and the sink here. And the L- tripod. Trying to squeeze past. And as he was mid-lunge, <laughs> the, almost doing the splits, mm-hmm. he did a fart. And I very quote, loud. for comedic effect. <laughs> It was absolutely comedic effect. Yeah. And, and it killed. very well received yeah. Yeah, by everyone. Good. Very funny. It was a very funny fart. Yeah. And when now You're when Keelan's making better decisions like that <laughs> yeah. than you, yeah. I don't know, maybe did you Oh, really do you recognize when you ask, Oh, why did you spell Keelan's name wrong? I should have just farted into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have one. I'll work on it. Um, Got any beans? Did you actually do that on purpose though? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would be funny. 
Because <laughs> I knew it would annoy Keelan. And also, I really enjoy the the joke that's been running for a, almost a, the whole time we've been doing this podcast of people just not knowing how to spell Keelan's name. So that's just one making of my it up. Favorite ones that people have kind of sometimes stopped doing. Mm. Like I used to really enjoy reading. Hey you know Kyle. why? Because we started spelling his name right. I'm bringing it back. Uh, please don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this you one. Know, Come on, Keyring. Yeah. Ugh. It's my favorite. At the live podcast show, uh, people were giving us key rings for the toilet mm. key. <laughs> and uh, someone said, Oi, key ring. And handed me it and Killer went, What? <laughs> <laughs> That was one. Of, that was a good moment. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was a highlight. And so, you know what's what's really good as well? Our second editor, the colorblind one, mm. uh, his name is Ruben. No one knows how to spell that. Mm. So many different ways of spelling Ruben. <laughs> I enjoyed so, Hey Rhubarb. I saw that one during the week. Yeah, tell, it was like Keychain and Rhubarb. Keychain and Rhubarb. That, that was they'd... good. Yep. Um, so keep that coming. Yeah, Definitely absolutely. Or don't. Um, now, boys, now that we've reached our low point again, we're finally here. I think it's time to kick it up a notch. It's time for the long-awaited crumb of the month. Crumb, crumb, crumb of the month. Crumb, crumb, crumb of the month. Crumb, crumb, you're no good fucking crumb. Get off my bench, you're the crumb of the month. All right, that was the crumb of the month intro that I assume was edited in. If it wasn't, blame Keychain. (laughs) <laughs> so not sure if I have the song for it though. But now, by the way, for those who may be new or you, you know maybe tune in for the first time, great, mm-hmm. hey, welcome. welcome. And that is Big Loaf Energy. There's two types of people who listen to this podcast. There's two loaves, types of people in this world, yeah, Luke. There's loaves mm-hmm. and crumbs, and we love a good loaf. Oh, you know why? Mm-hmm. Because loaves are a full package. They sit proudly on the bench, That's and right. they're not hanging off the side, getting flicked off the bench. And whether you're a wonder white loaf or a dark rye, we love you equally. Except if you're a pumpkin seed, I don't like that. Really? Day. No, it's weird. I it's like crunchy. a pumpkin seed in mm. the morning. Bit of avo and an egg. Egg. That's very healthy. Yeah. Uh, now, crumb of the month is a segment where we not we don't glorify it. It's not supposed to highlight crumb behavior. Being We're denigrating these people. Yeah, we really we berate, degrade, mm-hmm. and frown upon crumbs on this show. Uh, this show is a crumb for his own, and our sound off section is a crumb for his own. So that was Lewis just flicking off any crumbs. Get the fuck off my bench, and you crumbs. That's a warning mm-hmm. because that's right. The crumbs in our sound off section, they are few and far between these days, which is great. Yeah. A lot of big loaf energy mm-hmm. in there. We love but a good loaf. Occasionally Couple just of crumbs. a crumb just falls into that sound off section and Where where there are loaves there will be crumbs. It's it's the circle of life. Mm-hmm. It's the circle, circle of loaf. It's the circle of baking. Yeah, that's right. Uh, now what we like to do is we like we we always get dumb comments, we always get stupid messages. We love you guys, but also we hate you guys. <laughs> and no, we uh, hate the crumbs. We hate crumbs. Yeah. Um, and some of you guys are crumbs. We all know it, right? And Where there are loaves, be, there are crumbs. You know what? And you know what is a common crumb thought? Thinking you're a loaf. Yes. Yeah, and that's that right. You're really a crumb. Really, I would say that you get. You don't really know what you are. You get named a loaf or a crumb by other people, depending on your actions. I've seen. I've seen loaves call themselves crumbs. I've seen. I've seen crumbs call themselves loaves. I would rather. A self-conscious loaf mm-hmm. than a confident crumb That's any right. day of the week. <laughs> because, I, yeah, I'd rather, a, you know, a, yeah. a loaf think he's a crumb, but no, no, mate, you're actually not. Then yeah. a crumb go, I'm a fucking loaf. You're like, that's the crummiest thing you can do, mate. Oh, absolutely. There's a there's a really good saying. There's a saying that goes around. It's not, not the best saying, but it is a saying where people go, oh, know your place, right? Mm. I would say that you don't know your place. We'll let you know. But, uh, yes, but also know your place on the bench. I mm. think is a good saying. Yeah. I mean, it kind of contradicts yours, so that's fine. We, we, we'll go with yours. All right, great. Um, so, a good saying. we always start off with honorable mentions. Now, this is crime of the month. Uh, we, it's a monthly segment where, because we, we don't like to spend that much time on this, no. but we do want to point out bad behavior when it happens to try and stamp it out. Mm-hmm. It's more of a message. So, this one is an honorable mention. It's a YouTube comment I got. Yep. Now, this is crummy for multiple reasons. Mm-hmm. Now, as soon as regular listeners of the show, as soon as I read this comment, will actually be infuriated by how stu- the, the stupidity yep. and the how much it was rushed. 
Yeah. I could just tell this person thought it, typed, just and clicked enter. Pooped it out. And you were, and it's just like, okay, so it was on my stand-up comedy trailer for my new show, right? So mm-hmm. on my channel. There's one part in the trailer where I reach for a box of Savoy's. That's all you have to know. Yep. This comment. And it's been a long-running joke on our show. Not a joke. It's not a joke. Religion. We yeah. love Savoy's. We're Savoy we hate boys. Jats. Jats rats are scum. They're crumbs. Mm, that's right? right. You know why Jats rats are crumbs? Because Jats are crumbly. That's right. Savoy's are... Also quite crumbly. But a lot more no, delicious. But a lot more golden baked with golden mm. syrup. Anyway. A lot loafy. This comment came from Nivan Kaki. I thought you had a thing for Ritz. Why are you buying Jats? <laughs> now... Just no. for clarification, were you buying Jats in that video? Lewis, I was buying Savoy's. Right. So, so, would that be a dumb as fuck thing to comment with two mistakes? Yes, because not only would you have to be blind, mm. you would also have to not understand that we like Savoy's, not Jats. Well, that's what annoyed me is I picked up a box of Savoy's and they didn't even get a mention in yeah. his feedback. I thought you, so he made a mistake. I thought you had a thing for Ritz. No, it's Savoy's. So you, that's the first thing that made me angry. Mm-hmm. Then why are you buying Jats? I just went to be like, hey man, did you watch the same video <laughs> that I uploaded? Or were you just Googling Jats and then left a comment on my video? Yeah. Full. Honorable mention. Dishonorable mention. Actually, yes. we should change that. Dishonorable mention. Dishonorable mention. Um, this one. Uh, oh, hang on. Did you have one? Uh, I oh, you had the actual crumb of the I month. Have the, I have the crumb of the month. Oh, this one, I think we've brought up before. It's not that crummy. I mm-hmm. would say it's not a dishonorable mention. It's more of a... I'm, there's so many half crumbs that come at this, it yep. makes up one full crumb. Okay. Look, some of my shows this year, not all, by the way, most of them are all ages. Some of them are 18 plus. Yep. And, uh, people and is that because you have decided to make them just... Over 18 for an arbitrary reason, just like fuck them kids? No, or? it's because it's all to do with nothing to do with the content of the show. That's one common thing we always get with shows. Oh, can you, or like 18 plus people go, I don't want to see the pussy version of the show. I don't want to <laughs> see the all ages shit. I want to bring the 18 plus Do you plus honestly one. think we write two hours, one family friend, like the me. Wiggles version of the show where Luke gets out and goes, hey, and does a dance? It, I Maybe we're so involved in it that it's like maybe... I, I'm stupid for judging these people, but I've I think never it, thought that in my no. life because it's musicians do thought. all ages and <laughs> over eighteen shows. They play the same fucking songs. Yeah, it's to do with alcohol licensing. Yeah, so it's nothing to do with the content of the show. You're seeing the same show wherever you are. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Um, and a uh, common comment is Luke, you sh- man. This one's uh, under my video. Uh, yeah, man, all good would want to come, but probs should do way more all ages shows. You'd make heaps more cash if it was under 18s. Now, Luke, can I just ask you a quick question? <sighs> yes. Would you make more money doing an all ages show? Because obviously you're in the business. Mm. And is was that is that guy in the business? Is um, he an agent, a booking agent, a tour manager, or a no. comedian himself? Jordan is actually 15 oh. and has a picture of an AFL Sharon as his profile picture. Oh, right. So he's not in the business of comedy. Oh, okay. But yet he is commenting on it, which oh, is that's, odd. Oh, that's very strange. Very strange for a 15-year-old with a footy for a head yes, to, to give you business advice. It is odd. And now, Lewis, this is why it's odd. Yeah. It's cause, why is it uh, odd? Maybe it is little known knowledge, mm-hmm. but uh, it is actually much more expensive to yeah. do all ages venues. And that is because... They can't sell alcohol. The venues do not make money from us. Mm-hmm. So we, whatever was being sold over the bar, the venue goes, we'll have three grand, thanks, yeah. to perform here. Yeah. So it's incredibly expensive to mm-hmm. do all ages shows. So whenever we are doing all ages shows... Ah, you're welcome. Yeah. Because it means I ain't making money. That's right. So, uh, the actual version is the opposite. We make a lot more money of all of 18 plus shows. Even if and you sell less tickets. And it's not to do with money, by the way. Some places, particularly Canberra, Perth is another one, really hard to get all ages shows in. Yeah. There's a lot of places just impossible. Uh, in different states. Yeah. So that's the that's it. Dishonorable mention. And now. Uh, we appreciate though that you want to come and uh, but also out of our control. Wait. But yeah. also, maybe less less business advice. Yeah. That's all. Just, um, just a tip. Boys, I think it's time for... Do you have any dishonorable mentions, Keelan? Uh, yeah, there was one guy who messaged me on Instagram 
asking me what kind of where you buy your shoes. I thought where was, I buy my shoes. Yeah, I thought that was pretty crummy. What a fucking idiot! Because that's got nothing to do with me. Oh, yeah. I don't go comment. I get those comments all the time. Like, where do you get your shoes? I just write Nike, bro. Where do you think? I get them from Someone... a fucking shoe store. I don't have... What do you think? I have some secret hookup? I, I do nothing special. I but, see a shoe that I like and I buy it online. Or if I walk into a store and I like it, I'm like, oh, I'll get that one. By the way, don't think this segment is us complaining. It is. But we read shit uh, comments literally every single day of the week. Yeah. Really, we, we could do this segment every single episode. Mm. But we don't because, you know, we've got other things to do. Here's a definite crummy one. Uh, it was another the same thing. Where can I get Lewis's necklace? <laughs> Under under your thing, under just a thing of mine, yeah, under a photo on my Instagram. Why would you know? Why would you, also? Why would you want to wear my shit? I, I wouldn't get your own style, bro. Yeah, get your own personality, guys. It's time for crumb of the month, mm-hmm. right? This one is very recent. This happened today, and all of us unanimously decided fucking crumb of the month crumb, right crumb there. Crumb behavior. <laughs> so we're in Wagga Wagga. Luke, can I ask a quick question? Shoot. Why are we in Wagga Wagga? To do a stand-up comedy show. Now, right. Lewis, yeah. would we ever be in Wagga Wagga for any other reason? Um, Keelan, is there anything to do in Wagga Wagga worth travelling to? <laughs> no. Oh, well then, no. We would never no, be here for... because you can do crack anywhere, <laughs> and that's <laughs> all anyone does here. That's right. So, uh, glad that we've covered that. We're in Wagga Wagga for a show, which we've been posting about for... Weeks. Weeks. Months. Right. Months. Yep. So, we are walking... On every platform. Every so platform. if you were to say, I'm a massive fan, probably would have seen it. Yeah. If right. you're a massive fan. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, just keep that in mind. Yeah. Keep that in mind, guys. Uh, just in case there are any crumbs which lo- listening, watching, witching. I was going to say them at the same time. I've got a small brain. Guys... We went to KFC. This is what Ooh. happens when loaves get surrounded by too many crumbs. They start mm. crumbling. No, this is what happens when four boys go in a three-man motorhome and forget and to do record a, a podcast show before the show. Yeah. yeah, now we got to do it afterwards. That's what happens. We'll just go to the airport in four hours. Have fun with them. Oh, I am. This is going to suck and I'm getting on a propeller plane. I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> Maybe we should make better decisions. No. Um, <laughs> oh, hang on. If you get on that propeller plane and you do die, yeah. do we have to do the rest of the tour? Um... Would you like us to dedicate it to you? Yeah, I want you to change the name. If I go down, Luke I want you to change Keeler? the name. No, I want you to change oh, it to Luke the Lewis Spears Memorial Tour. And I'd have to do your bits? I'm yes. Like, Guys, I'm incredibly tall. Yeah. I'm six foot eight. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, what if, sucks. I what if it's well still the... the <laughs> what if I just <laughs> do I his bits? to be good. What, huh? what if I just do his bits? No, I don't trust you. Oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You can do my bits. Oh, cool. Guys, I probably aren't going to... I'm probably not going to crash, right? So, crumb of the <laughs> month, we're getting to, right? So, we go to a, we go to a KFC. Now, look, quick question. Why the fuck were, were we at KFC? Because, if I recall correctly, yesterday we went to KFC. Mm, because uh, one of our employees, who shall... will... shall re- remain nameless, mm-hmm. has fat energy. One of our employees. <laughs> Keela just looked <laughs> at the oh, wall. Just, no. just looked up at oh, Zach. Oh, yeah. a little, oh, no. Whatever. You know what's funny? Uh, we were, obviously, it was like a three-hour drive this morning from Shepparton to Wagga. Yeah. And, um, Which we would only be there for a show. Yes. And uh, I was like, oh, have you got it set to the caravan park? And he didn't really say it first. And he goes, yeah, I've got it set to Wagga. I was like, cool. And then when I got closer, <laughs> I was like, where is it taking us? Like, I thought, I was like, it's not, it seems like we're not going to the big four. He's like, no, I've... He put in when we left Shepparton, <laughs> KFC, <laughs> Wagga Wagga. And I was like, oh my God. So the whole time we were just on this oh, route, so does the that fastest mean, way to the nearest KFC. Would you say then, boys, the only reason we're doing this podcast at fucking midnight is because we took a KFC detour? No. <laughs> That's actually why. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> Absolutely not. We were there for a while. We were going to have to get lunch or dinner anywhere. Mm. And Someone. then you took ages to film a Killen's Meals with uh, Zach. With Zach, but we only filmed for twenty three minutes. That's right. so long. Anyway, boys, so we go into the KFC, and I gotta say, Luke and I combined, we've never felt more famous oh. ever. Even after our own shows, I reckon there have been like a less display of "Oh my God, I love you" shit. Whenever we walk into on this tour, it's just crazy. It's blowing our minds. Whenever Every we walk time, into a regional fast food restaurant. 
we get recognised either from patrons in it or the staff, mainly the staff, mm. every time. Every time. By the way, in Melbourne, no one gives a fuck. We're, nah. we're not saying we're famous. It's just, for some reason, regional fast Very food popular. employees are our demo. Yeah, that's great. And I'm I'm proud of that. Hardest workers in the game. You know, if you've got to make a fucking zinger for a trucker, that's serious business. Mm. Right? So, we walk in and... Every one of the staff members and every one of the customers recognises. Might be seven to nine was people. bizarre. Yeah, we very weird. We walked in and the place went silent. It was like yeah. in a movie. It was like, this is him. It looks familiar. Yeah, crazy, right? So we walk in and immediately... Oh, Luke and I both decided we don't want KFC again. We had it yesterday. What kind of animal has it two days in a row? Mm. <laughs> Keelan put his hand up. Um, so... Immediately, Luke and I are like, oh, we came in just to get out of the rain. We don't really want anything. Keelan sees every single one of the staff members <laughs> look at us and immediately starts asking for free shit. Yeah. What did you say? I said, because you're fans of my friends, can I get free food? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? He got a lot of free food. I got heaps of free food. Shout out to those boys. We didn't eat any of it, even though Keelan got so much more than oh, he should eat sorry, by can himself. Can you retract that shout out? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Shout out to Ben. I'm yeah. very. I'm... I also don't want them to get in trouble for giving us free food. Oh, well, this happened in Shepparton. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What do you mean? No, every every single fast food worker listens to this show oh, in true. Wagga Wagga. So we'll keep it hush. This happened at Hungry Jack's, guys. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> Hungry Jack's gave us 25 pieces of fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, he ate all of it by himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and all right, so... The crumb of the and then... Oh, my God, this is taking 15, 16 minutes. Okay, guys, this is so important, right? We're going to wrap it up after Crumb of the Month because this is a big crumb. Okay, so... We end up we take we take some photos with the fast food workers. They're good. Big loaf energy. We love a good loaf. But as we said at the start of this, where there are loaves, there are crumbs. Yep. Big crumb energy over here. So some guy eating with his mate, staring at me for ages, didn't say a word, didn't get a photo, which is fine. I don't mind. I don't I don't have to get a photo. I don't need a hello. I wanna say glaring at you actually. Not yeah. aggressively, not in a mean way, like just staring like Holy in a shit. trance. Yeah. Locked eyes on you for yeah. so long, I felt uncomfortable mm-hmm. and I wasn't the one even being looked at. Yep. Now, uh, then about an hour later, I By get the a way, DM. Can we say how weird the first interaction was? The first mm-hmm. guy you came in <laughs> went, oh my God, it's Lewis Spears, blah, blah, blah. And was like, and I was like, oh, cool. Well, that's not weird. That's yeah, everyday course, shit. No, that, oh, I was, that's the first thing I was shocked at. No, <laughs> often that is the case because yeah. people see you so tall. Well, they just see me first. Yeah. And then, right, so he goes, oh my God. Little Spears, sorry, I'm such a big fan, blah, blah, blah. And then you spoke to him for a bit. You were really nice. And then I just was sitting there behind you. And then he goes, oh, Luke, could I grab a selfie? And then just walked behind, out from behind the counter. Big effort to come out didn't from really speak the to me. counter. Didn't, like, had a, didn't care that I walked in the store. Yeah. And then was like, Luke, can I grab a selfie? Took a selfie with me. All right, all right see you, boys. And just didn't take it's Really weird, because I was just... Standing there ready to take one with him. Because that's normal. They do you, they do yeah. me, or they do me, they do you. Yeah. But then he like looked at you and was like, all right, see ya. It's like he was scared of me or something. It was very weird. <laughs> it was bizarre. But was people, a... sometimes people are just terrified of me. Strange interaction. Anyway. Um, I'm very nice. If you ever want a photo, I'll take one with you. I'm a nice person, right? Unless I get messages like this. Mm-hmm. Right. So I got a message from the guy who did not take a photo and did not say hi. Mm-hmm. Um, and he goes... Hey, about an hour later, just saw you in Wagga KFC. I was sitting in the corner, but I'm too socially retarded to say hello. Which is fine. Whatever. Yeah. All good. Second message. You're a fucking legend, Pinger Pete. <sighs> Great. Love that. Yeah. We all know that. You're though. actually... A... The opposite of... No, no. You're actually Pinger Pete. No, like I'm... It's not a character. I'm absolutely not. I'm a no. sober person taking yeah. the piss out of people. Who act like Pink Pete. Yeah. It That's must be so good when people re- refer to you. You're like a serious stand-up comedian. Yeah. L- pretty big deal. Yeah. Must be great when people yeah. refer to you as a character from 2013. Yes, that <laughs> is good. Yeah. Be great. You're that you don't own me guy. Yes. Must feel the same. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Feels good. It feels yeah, it feels love great. That. Love that. Do the thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. Is, I love this. I I do put on a singlet and wear sunnies and do the rave. It's not funny without music. Also, I'm a comedian. Yeah, but I do ecstasy all the time. Cool. 
Anyway, right? So I hit him with the classic retort. Because why are we in Wagga Wagga? Can we rem- remind everyone? One, two, three. For a show. Doing a show. That's right. Thanks, KFC. everyone, everyone, boys. And is is that the only reason why, we'd be, why we would be there? Yes. yes. Because everyone has KFC and meth. Okay? So, <laughs> I hit him with the classic retort. Love throwing this one out there, especially when I have a show the night of and someone's reached out and told me they're a fan. Thanks, mate. We've got a show tonight. You should come. Lovely thanks. Lovely invite to a show because he, can we all remember, mm. big fan. Yes. Yeah. By the way, very proud of you for not even, for ignoring, for like you just let it go. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You just let it go to the keeper. Mm-hmm. The ping a pee comment just went through. You didn't yeah. let it bother you and that's fine. And it was I just slipped a, that one. You slipped that one and mm-hmm. then sent him back a hell of a nice message. That's Great right. work. Loaf energy. Now, uh, can you just read what this says just below my message? What does that say? So you've invited him to the show. Yeah, because he's such a big fan. And he's such a big fan. Yeah. And what does that say? Because he thinks you're a fucking legend. Yeah, but just below and that just message, below what that, does that say? Uh, it says seen. <laughs> 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 now... No, and, and can I just point out that it's currently midnight, so about eight hours since yep. that message. No response. And it still says C. And didn't attend the show. Didn't attend the show. Must no. be a really big fan. Really big fan. Thanks really big that. fan. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. And, uh, that and that's why you're crumb of the month, bro. Yep. Congratulations, crumb of the month, because if you... Nothing wrong with being socially awkward. Nothing, nothing wrong. wrong with not nothing wanting wrong with to that. say hi. There um, is something wrong with going such a big fan and then... Not coming to the show. Mm. You don't have to come to the you show. You don't even have to say you're a big fan. You can no. just say, I, pa- I passively enjoy your content. Yeah, that's what I like, mean. Wow, thanks so much that's for passively fine. enjoying it. That, I appreciate time, that more. You smash like. Yeah. You don't have to all the time. Mm-hmm. They might even subscribe. They're I appreciate searching. that shit much more. If you're like, oh, I've seen some of your stuff. I'll right. go, cool. Casual viewer. He's probably not going to come to the show. Massive I'm, fan. You're copping an invite, bro. Yeah. That's what I say to like little stuff. Casual fan. <laughs> You know, I'm not I'm watching every vid, but I'm I'm in some, and I watch those. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, those are my favourites. Regular actually. favourites. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I use it's, it's it's good stuff. I think so. Yeah. The editing. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Mainly the spelling. Yeah. No, I'm gonna end this on a negative um, note, unless it's about that guy. Fuck that guy. <sighs> what? I just realised I have to get up at fucking 4am to go to a regional Wagga Wagga airport to get on a fucking Rex flight on a propeller plane, which when we booked the tickets, there was only one other guy on the plane. So it's going to be mostly empty. Mm -hmm. It's going to be full of turbulence. Spread out. And then I'm going to land. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to deturbulence. And then I'm going to do this fucking thing that I've agreed to do. And then, boys, I've got to fly to Sydney and then I've got to fly to Bathurst. On a propeller plane. Because I'm the hardest worker in the game. No, you're so, I think you're just incredibly disorganized and you make life very... You know why you work so hard? Yeah. It's because you make life really hard for yourself. Yeah. So and you have to work hard. That's in the order. winner's mindset, bro. <coughs> yep. I'm hustling. I'm an entrepreneur. So Gary V. Do you reckon Gary V and Kevin Hart are just the two most inefficient people in the world? They work so hard because they just book it in dumb shit all the time. Absolutely. I saw one time Kevin Hart was doing like Jumanji and another film and a tour and a Netflix special and a book deal and a game show. Mm. And you wonder why his marriage is failing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, good documentary though, his new one. Mm. Like Kevin Hart. It was interesting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, this motorhome episode of the Luke and Lewis show. We'll have a few more to come. Hopefully, they will be much They'll less be tired. Much high energy. Yeah. This isn't a great pilot. Episode no. for the um, I, I would say we had a bit of a high on the fly chat. Yeah, like we did that. a lot of scuba diving, and mm. for that we apologise. Right, <laughs> we we try we you know so, you know not every not every moon mission is a success. Remember that one that fucking blew up and killed all those people? That was horrible. Mm. This was the Apollo Eleven of podcasts. Uh, so was it, it is, that one? Uh, no, I think 12, Apollo fifteen. Fifteen. Apollo fifteen. Apollo Eleven sounds like it was successful. Apollo Eleven was the one they landed on the moon. You might be thinking of nine eleven. <laughs> yeah, Can I go back to what I was going to say before? Maybe. No. On okay. <laughs> you can. Lewis, it depends which side you're on, because um, uh, some people thought that was a very successful mission. Yeah, that's true. With George Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so when you learn, when you're reading piano notes, music, like yeah. sheet music, this is going to be good. C is like 
um, from what I remember. Hey, is, why, why are you bringing this up? Oh, right. Sorry. You said, I don't want to end this episode on a negative note. Oh, Jesus and I was just, Christ. I was just thinking, so long yes, oh, yes, no, but oh, I was just thinking, Jesus, so sucks. C is this in the sucks. middle, Scuba so would a B boring. or an A what be a name? negative note? This sucks. So what if we just finished on an A note? A! <laughs> Keelan's too fucked. Let's get to bed. Guys, um, we're Luke and I's tickets are still on sale to the Luke and Lewis show. <laughs> Keelan is not performing. Uh, thank, thank the Lord. He's very busy filming us perform. Uh, if you want to grab him, lukeandlewis5.com for the regional tour tickets. And also, our Melbourne International Comedy Festival tickets just went on sale. Luke Kidgel and Lewis Spears. We're doing separate shows, but, right, we're doing... We're doing the same venue yes. back to back. So Luke On Kidgel, all the same nights. All the so same nights. if you buy nights. tickets to both, you're not going to miss out. No. My show's first. Lewis' show is right after me in the same venue. No crossover. So no you crossover. can see us both. So I actually really recommend that. It'd be a great night out. You get like fucking two hours of brilliant comedy. You still get to meet us both. Yes. Uh, and do all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it'll be great. I, I I'd recommend seeing us back to back because I don't know, just cool. We're both like very very different shows, very good shows, and you'll get uh, you know two hours of brilliant stand up. And also, my whole national tour is on tail. I'm on the run because I keep fucking killing everywhere, and uh, they're after me, and that's mm. fine. That's, I'm dealing with that. It's actually pretty nuts, like. Uh, how we're going to handle... Because it's a very tight situation where all of uh, your fans come in. It's like 13 people. And like then you've got to negotiate them between oh, no. 200 of no, my no, fans. I actually sell out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because I actually do the comedy festival every year. So I've got a big following there. Yeah. You probably come about you're a bit rusty. And yeah. obviously you, you wanted to do your show after me. Yeah. So you could open for me and get a few extra people in. You're welcome. That's fine. Yeah. But yeah, so it's just... Let, uh, I'm a bit more of a comedy festival veteran than you. Are ve- <laughs> you're a veteran. veteran yeah. Are you? How many have you done? Um, oh, actually, two. Both. Done three. No, three. Yeah, I've done three. Okay, damn. Yeah. So how many have you done? Well, we've done an equal amount. Ah, so we're veterans. My mm. brother. It's annoying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. what was what, what I was saying was fourth. it's going to be difficult to negotiate because we get all of your fans in and then you do your show and then we have to get all of your fans out and then get all of my fans in, right? Long. But but during while this is happening, you're probably going to get questioned by the police. Yeah, well, I'm I'm going to do my meet and greet. I will try and meet everyone after the show. I definitely will meet mm. everyone after the show. If you don't call the cops, it's kind of like a honesty thing. Well, it was not, well, it's a dishonesty thing. Don't snitch, you dogs. Yeah. If I kill, if I, my jokes are so good that I just fucking murder. Well, for they an won't hour. be able to you call know, the cops because they'll, they'll all be dead. Be dead. So, Which yeah. you know, I, I, like clearly, that's why. It's kind of shit that I'm going after you because not only am I not going to sell any tickets from your fans because they'll all be dead. Yeah, I'm also going to be performing in a room full of corpses. Like my my people are going to have to sl- sit on yours. And I'm sorry. Yeah, for that, well, that's all right. You know, it'll kind of suit with your with your comedy. Yeah. Because you'll probably die up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, bro. <laughs> no, they're going to be great. Yeah, both will be great. And uh, yeah, my tour's on sale. I'm going like everywhere around Australia. Pretty much if if our t- if your town or city is not on this regional tour, I'm coming to it on my solo one. That's it. Well, you going to France. What? You're going to Paris. No, in Australia. Oh. But also... You're going to Northern Territory. Uh no, because you know why? Why? Not many people live there and it's financially irresponsible to perform there. That's a good one. Everyone's like, oh, what? I why always get questions. Darwin? Why aren't you coming to Darwin? It's like, you cunt, would you like race. me to list all the reasons? There's stacks. You <laughs> see, you're city doing pretty much every town. So are you going to Rosebud? Just jumping on your joke. That's a good Not one. as funny now. Anyway. <clears throat> that's He's double bounced me. He should have just farted in the microphone. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the show. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you on Thursday. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Support us on Patreon. You get uh, two extra episodes of some kind of secret podcast. Can't really talk about it. Anyway, bye.